Praise God. Praise God. You know, Tamir Lightfoot, Kim Fox, Tony Prepwinkle, you know, to our uh, minority uh, public figures, politicians. You know, uh, I'm in support of all you guys, you know, and you guys came in at a bad time in the system, you know, with this COVID-19 and everything else. <clears throat> but I have to let you guys know, man, you know, you're a part of administration that's so corrupted and you have no idea what's going on with the grassroots, you know, in these urban parts of America. You know, with a lot of these police officers, you're thinking that you need more police officers. No, you have a lot of police officers that are not doing their job, man. A lot of them that's doing so many, you know, conniving and, 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 you know, convoluted kind of things, man, that you never even find about, you never know about. You know, in the city now, man, you got police officers be riding up and down the alleys in the streets, you know, uh, wasting time, you know, writing people up who in the dumpsters. You know, checking their ID, see if they don't have any IDs, and if they don't, take them to jail. This is the kind of stuff that clogs up the system. Locking people up because they're walking down the street drinking alcohol. You know, things like that. See, and I'm not saying that, you know, they should give them a pass or oh, look. It's just that there's so much, you know, focus should be on the things that's going on with the crime being so high. And you would think that common sense will say pass on some of these minor things, some of these petty things that has nothing to do with violence, man, and pay attention to some of the things that's going on. You know, we see it a lot. And sometimes we see it and we be in the midst of doing whatever we doing, going shopping or to the laundromat or whatever, and we just say it and keep it, let it go. You never know. See, you in City Hall, there's a lot of things going on in your administration. You know, and I'm not saying it to judge, I'm just, you know, bring it to light. You probably got wind of it, got light of it, but you got so many different issues on your table, man. You can't really, you know what I mean? And the sad thing about it that we have a lot of officers and city officials that's been in office for 30 years, you know, uh, the different ranks, you know, lieutenants and captains and sergeants, even some of the officers, some of the most corrupted men, some of the powers behind the scene that you have nowhere, that you're not aware of, scrutinizing any people, the innocent people lives to cover up their own wrongdoings. And this has been going on for years, you know, getting uh, benefits to the informants and, and, and the snitches. You know, they don't have to go through the system like everybody else and pass medicals and all this for Social Security. They sign them off and they get checks. They nod them walking up and down the street, going to, the, to, to their primary doctors, high as hell, fouling out, about to die. You know, and, and that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. See, they're not putting hands on work. You know, it's a pipeline now. You know, they living in the urban parts of, 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 the, of the city. And in the condominiums and the upscale areas, man, and they make phone calls straight to the city. They're not even doing their work, man. They're going by information from the streets, from informants. See, and uh, you're knocking that? No, I'm not knocking that. What I am knocking it is that for them to be scrutinizing innocent people's lives, man, have no evidence of anything and wasting the taxpayers' money while they harass innocent people. And they work hard to do it because of what I'm saying now. You know, as it's, it's many times I have said so many things and people have been annoying me, annoying me, annoying me, thinking I'm crazy, even my therapist. See, and, and you, you know that the more people tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about, or I'm paranoid, it makes me work hard to get the evidence, which I did. See, and that's the part, man. And do you know when you show these same people who've been telling you, no, this, no, that, and when they see the evidence and they see the judge reverse the case and they look at it like, man, you was telling the truth. And I'm saying exactly, man. See, some things be so corrupted, man. Things be so bad, it be so unbelievable. When you say it, you just, you just, it be just so unbelievable. But then when you look at the dates, the times, and, and all the issues and say, man, damn, who had time to sit down and do all this? Exactly. See, but you don't understand the work behind the scenes of what I had to do. Going down to the daily center, man. You know, going from one flow to the next. Three or four days in a row. Getting this paper filed. Filing this paper. Getting the judge to sign this part over. Getting assigned to a judge. Then getting a, a continuous. And then you got to understand, when it's doing with the uh, administrative law judges, when, they, when, when it's your word against the officer, you know, you don't have no evidence. And, and, and they have no evidence when I thought that, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty. I guess that's in criminal cases, huh? But anyway, the administration judge, and I'm not knocking them, they would just take the word over the office over yours. See? Just because they said it. Because they're sworn in, man. They took an oath. So we thinking that they're living on integrity. But this is the point of me doing this video. If you got officers out here... And you see that they do little things like that, which is a lie. See? And they get caught lying. That tells you something about a character, man. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. You got people that's walking around out here, these characters, and you ignore it. 
when things happen like with the George Floyd situation and all these innocent young boys and minorities getting killed all over America, it's things happened and transpired before that, man. The origin that was ignored, the different flaws, because you tell yourself it was something minor. See, it was minor, but what kind of character are we talking about? You got to understand, certain characters do certain things, man. See, but we sweep it under the rug. Just like the issues I'm finna bring up now. See, I have to pursue them, man, to make a point. See, I'm not walking around with signs say Black Lives Matter. I'm not walking around with people in up and down Chicago, downtown, trying to make a point. See, I'm making a point individually, man, through the documentation and the facts. I had to compromise my lifestyle through technology, man. The good, the bad, the ugly. And you would think that I don't know that. You guys right in my house 24-7, man, 24-7. You see everything I do. See, you see me talking to myself. You see me when I'm happy, when I'm angry, when I work out, when I train my dog. You see it all. Say, do you know what? Man, listen, that's part of the, that's, that's part of the deal. Because, see, you can never say or, or, or lie on me. See, because everybody know. See, it can be tapped into, man. See, I, I knew it when I got it. And see, sometimes you have to make a sacrifice for your, to, to yourself, man. This is what you have to do. You have to lay down on the sword, man. See, simple as that. See, Farrakhan make a lot of good points, man. You know, but because of his religion, a lot of people don't listen to him. You know what I'm saying? And pay attention and absorb what he's saying. See, even though he, he don't just talk about Islam, he talk about the Bible, too. He, he's talking about righteousness, man. And what has held us captives for all these years, our people, minorities. See, once again, man, you got a lot of corruption going on out here. A lot of corruption. And it ain't on you guys like, you know, me and Lightfoot. And man, you got a bad deal, Miss Lightfoot, man. Y'all y'all got a bad deal. I, see, poor people have no idea of the strings and the buttons you guys have been trying to push. See, I've been paying attention, man. The same ones that's throwing bricks at you and, 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 and tarnishing your name and this and that, they have no idea the stuff that you did since you've been in office behind the scenes. See, I know. Yeah, I know, man. And that's sad, man. They use our people to get on the news and say all of the, some of the stuff, man. Like they use the lady, the, the lady house guy, just give an example, the guy raided. And he is like for one in office a month. And they want to shift that on her. See? And then it, our people get on, on on the stage and do it, knowing that she wasn't in office. But that was your that was your your glory. <laughs> that was your time to show. And you get up there and, and bash your sister, and you let them use you to do it. It happens, man. That's the way it happens. But now, the reason why I'm saying this today, because it's different law firms, you know, won't nobody handle different things. But a federal judge reversed the case, man. You know, without what I was found liable for. Yeah. Yeah. See, and, and, and the reason why they reversed it is because they took time to say, you know, just look and see what this man talking about. See, if a person just assume, you know, that you're lying or you made it up or you, you're paranoid or whatever, they're going to just blow you. They're going to keep on passing you on. But at some point, man, somebody going to take, well, what if this man tell And they just look at all the stuff, the dates, the time from different branches of the city. And ain't come from me, come from their own records, come from their own stuff. They're saying, damn. Then they look at some other stuff that's coinciding with that. Systemic racism, man. Systemic racism. And when you know, man, people hate when they can't entrap you into something. Because, see, if we entrap you into something, we can make everything go away. See, we got to monitor you when you come out because that's the only time that we can get you caught up. See? And you don't come out much. But when you do... We're watching you 24-7 because we got to make everything that we did go away. I mean, we did a whole lot now at this point. We didn't do so much now, man. We got to make this stuff go away. See? And then the way you're talking. You talk too much, man, about certain things. About the 14th Amendment, the 5th Amendment. We didn't violate every amendment from the, from the 1st to the 21st. We didn't, we didn't just did all kind of stuff. Not only you, to everybody else, too, but you talking too much. But not only are you talking too much, you can prove it. <laughs> anyway, man, listen. I love you, Mayor Lightfoot. I love you, Kim Fox. I love you, Tony Preckerwinkle. You know, I love you guys, man. You know, and I and David Brown, you know, man, you got a bad deal too, man. You got a man, listen. I'm not gonna say the whole Chicago police force, but it's not just Chicago. You got Detroit, you got Minnesota, you got man, listen, the urban parts of the country, man. You know, we getting a bad deal. And this stuff is deeper than what it, what it appears to be. 
You know, I mean, it's a superficial man. You know, behind the scenes, man, it's still the same thing where it's always been. And if y'all look at it for what it is, man, you know, the racism, man, how people are still, you know, going and being transferred to the southern parts of, of, of the state, like in Illinois. People have no idea when their children and stuff is gone for 20, 30 years when they down state and picking strawberries and, and corn just like they picking cotton. Generating these little towns, man, for jobs and stuff. Generating revenues. Y'all have no idea. It's deeper than that. I can say a whole lot more. Man, you'd be surprised about what I can say. You'd be surprised about what I know. But like I say, you guys, you politicians, you got your hands full, man. And the reason why you got your hands full is because you got your own people attacking you. See, you're trying to help a people that's trying to attack you, your own people. And they so blind because they so greedy. They want so much. You give them something, they want more. They want more. They don't even appreciate what you're giving them. They can't even understand that you're giving them anything. They can't even see. And that's the sad part. You know, that's what makes your job harder and you're being attacked. And the media is allowing your own people to attack you. See, so it won't look like it's racism. So they'll get them the mic and let them get up there and talk. But they would tell them what to say. We need you to say this. We need you to say that. Yeah. But anyway, man, listen, I had to say that, you know, uh, you know, mayor life with the city of Chicago, man. You know, it's liable for some things, man, that they did, you know. So I just want to tell you that, too, you know. But, man, it's just sad, man. Everything's just sad. But anyway, I love you. You know, you guys be good, man. God is good. Like I told you, I don't come with the Bible when I come. But I'm coming with the name of God, always. I'm always talking about God. So God be the glory. You guys, have a great day. Just